I have put forth a plan to defeat ISIS. Our military is assisting in Iraq, uh, and we're hoping that uh, within the year we'll be able to push ISIS out of Iraq and then, you know, really squeeze them in Syria. Hillary, while you continue to hope to squeeze them in Syria, ISIS is busy murdering people in Paris and Brussels and Orlando and San Bernardino and almost every week because of you innocent people are dying. They're dying because of you. You created ISIS. You and President Obama because when President Obama took office, ladies and gentlemen, back in 2009, Iraq had been stabilized and there had not been a single American killed in Iraq for five months. But you, as Secretary of State, were unable or more likely unwilling to conclude a simple status of forces agreement in Iraq. I say unwilling, Mrs. Clinton, because we have damn near a hundred of these things with countries all around the world. However, you and the President announced that we would be leaving the Iraqis all alone and within a very short period, the defeated, scattered, ragtag remnants of what had once been AQI Al-Qaeda in Iraq, which had been defeated, utterly destroyed by American troops during the Iraq war, you let them become ISIS. And worse than that, you could have stopped them at any time. But you and the president didn't because you couldn't face the political humiliation of putting boots back on the ground in Iraq after you took credit for pulling them out. And they grew and they grew and they grew because you created them by not leaving troops in Iraq. And if that's such a bad idea, by the way, Mrs. Clinton, we've had US troops stationed in Europe for 60 years and we've had troops stationed in Korea for a little over 50 years, and you refused to do it for five. You launched an authorized war in Libya. You armed and have had American aircraft fly air cover for Al-Qaeda. You may remember Al-Qaeda from their appearance 15 years ago in Lower New York. Oh, and your husband, by the way, had at least one chance to kill Osama bin Laden before the attack, but he declined on the advice of White House lawyers. I think we've had enough lawyers in the White House for a while. Under your direction, Mrs. Clinton, the State Department has become so incompetent that when you first met the Russian ambassador, you gave him a toy box with a big red button marked reset in Cyrillic letters only. It didn't say reset. They got it wrong because you and your State Department were so arrogant and uninformed that you could not correctly translate one Russian word in front of the entire world in order to make a bad joke. Everything that you've touched overseas has turned into a disaster. And given what you've said here earlier tonight, it seems pretty clear to me that if you were given the chance, the same catastrophes would start to occur right here at home. We need your help to keep these messages coming. If you want to help us make a difference, please go to BillWhittle.com and become a member.